What's up world? Today is day one of the demolition. As you can see, I have some parts removed. I got the YouTube camera set up, but the battery is charging right now. Those parts in this corner right here will not be going back on the car, period. Headlight out. I got the radiator fanned out. I got the reinforcement out and the bumper and other headlight. Tell you, whoever owned this car before me was a half-assed person, man. Or they was just cheap or I don't know what they was doing. Um, next step, I'm going to remove the intercooler. The stock intercooler is coming out. I disconnected the inlets and the outlet pipe or inlet, outlet, whatever. Little Torx. Okay, the stock intercooler is down. There you can find the drain for the radiator. So I'm going to drain the antifreeze before I remove the radiator stuff. Drain it, Missy. Drain it. Next order of business. I got to discharge the Freon. Got to unhook this. Got to disconnect this external oil cooler right here. Squared inlet pipe. Horsepower restriction. Disconnect the power steering lines that goes to the power steering cooler, which is that little thing down there with the holes. Oil cooler is disconnected. AC lines are disconnected. I'm going to remove the hood latch cables. This system has two latches. Oh, the cables are free. Not bad for a part-time demo day. The front end is off. Oh my god, look at that. What was the guy doing? She's off. So you want to see the one with the gear in it? Half inch. Okay, look. Give me the deep 13 or the deep half inch socket. Real quick. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Deep one. Don't 
Got my money up. I don't give a fuck. From Hollis to BMs. Still good? Oh, I right, the live still going. Yo, guys, guys, make sure not to get in the way. Right, Hold on, lift it up some more, man. sauces and seasonings to take your dinner from mild to wild. But don't worry, we're getting pros. If things get too wild, we've got dozens of beers on tap to bail out your cabin. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. Please drink responsibly. Look, this shit is Okay, world. The motor is out. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but the owner I got the car from said the motor spun a bearing and usually you spun a bearing because of low oil so I've been looking at this motor to see if I see a major oil leak and it looks like this return hose under here for the front turbo was leaking severely so maybe that return hose cost him a motor and cost him to sell his car for the low You can see the transmission in there, exhaust, down pipes, everything's out, frame still up. What's this? This little heat shield got bent up. I gotta fix that. I'm gonna fix that later. That's everything that came out of the car over there. So um, not bad, a couple, a few hours worth of work because I took off the front of the car in about two to three hours and then I've been working on the motor for three to four hours. So in all, it took me like roughly six to eight hours to get the motor out. I've been BSing, cooking chicken and stuff like that and taking breaks. So not too bad to get the motor out.